Dear students, so many questions come in mind about the research. What is the research? What are the type of the research? Where we can apply the research? And so many other questions. In this video, I will explain everything step by step. So first, introduction of research concept. So what is a research concept? Research concept is basically the systematic application of a family of method applied to provide trustworthy information about the problem. So in research, we apply the method for providing trustworthy information about the problem. Research is also ongoing process based on many accumulated understanding and explanation that when taken together lead to generalization about problem and the development of the theory. So based on the finding of generalization of the problem, we find the theory in the research. So all theory has been constructed based upon the problem. Next. Now we, I will discuss about the basic step of the research. As you know, the search is scientific and discipline query as in orderly process involving recognition and identification of the topic to be to be studied. So, so here you have see the problem. I mean, we have to find the topic and after that description and execution of the procedure to collect information and that is called the method. So it is the method which is used in the research. Next, objective data analysis after this finding the problem and uh, execution the method then we do data analysis. So, and after that, statement of finding. And after that, we finding the uh, finding and finding are called the result. So, it is a basic step of research to study the topic, uh, collection information using the method then analyze the data and then finding the result. Now, uh, as I already discussed you, we type, we talk, we, we talk about the basic of research. So, basic process of collecting and analyzing information to develop or enhance a theory. So basically our objective is that to collecting and analyzing information to develop or enhance the theory. So develop means we, 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 we develop a new theory or we enhance the previous theory. Next apply. Conducting for the purpose of applying or testing theory and evaluating its usefulness for solving the problem and evaluation. Evaluation is basically concerning with making decision about the quality, effectiveness or value of program, product or practice. So this is evaluation. Next, the, here is the research about pure research and evaluation research. So in pure search, first in case of laboratory, we apply the basic 
theory, then we develop the theory and after developing the theory, we see why it works. So we produce the concept and in the field, evaluation research, applied current problem, what worked and provide data. So this is the concept of pure research. Approaches to reasoning. So as you know, there are two approaches. One is inductive method and other is deductive. So first in inductive method, we develop generalization from limited number of specific observation and experience. On the other hand, so, uh, uh, so inductive is highly dependent on the number and represented of the specific observation used to make the generalization. So it is the inductive. So inductive developing generalization from a limited number of specific observation and experience and it's also highly dependent on the number and representation of the specific observation used to make generalization. Next, detective. In detective, we develop specific prediction from general principle, observation or experience. So it depends on the truth of the generalization used as the basis for its logic. So there are two type of the, the uh, one is inductive and other is deductive. Next, relating research with reasoning. So in the case of laboratory research, it's a quantitative. Quantitative means the number, researcher, objectivity, logical and then the snapshot. In field work, qualitative, evolution research. Researcher intersubjectivity, post structuralism and portrait. So it's a, a basic a sketch of the relating reasoning with the research method. Next, research method. So as you know, there are two main one is quantitative and other is qualitative. Quantitative means collecting and analyzing numerical data obtained from uh, from formal instrument. So in this, we make a formal in instrument for collecting and analyzing the data. Next, qualitative. Qualitative collect and analyze non-numerical data over an extended period of time to situate meaning with a particular perspective or context. So in qualitative, there is a non-numerical data and in qualitative, there is a numeric data that is the different. So in simple word, you can say qualitative is the number and qualitative is the word and quantitative is the number. Quantitative methods, there are so, so many. Quantitative methods, one is the descriptive research, survey research, correlation research, casual comparative research, experiment research. So these are the popular quantitative research method. No, descriptive research method, survey research, collect data in order to answer question about the current status of the subject or topic of the study. So that is descriptive. Next, descriptive use formal instrument to study preference, attitude, practice, concern, interest of a simple, of a sample. Next is correlational research. In correlational research, uh, we determine whether and to what degree a relation exists between two or more variable. Here, two or more variable is very important term. It, it must be two variable and then more variable. The presence of correlation does not 
इंडिकेट ए काज अफेक्ट रेशन प्राइमरी ड्यू टू द मल्टीपल को फाउंडिंग फैक्टर correlation coefficient as you know there is a here is a zero and next is the uh, plus 1 and next is the minus 1 so strong correlation is plus 1 between two or more variable and uh, Minus negative strong negative relation between two and more variables and zero is the no relationship found between the variable. So it might be exist a, a relation between zero to plus one and zero to minus one. Now we discuss it. So it's a positive relation. Between two variable x and y, here you can see if x is increased, so it's a positive relation between x and y. If x increase, y is also increase. On the other hand, in negative relation between x and y, you can so if y is decreasing, x in is increasing. So that is the negative relation. So No relation means there is a no relation between x and y variables here. Here is also no variable relation correlation between x and y. Causal competitor search is also called ex post factor search. At least two different groups are compared to dependent variable or measure of performance called the effect. because the independent variable called the cause has already occurred or cannot be manipulated now variable what's a variable a concept for example intelligence height aptitude that can be assumed any one of range of value so these are variable research variable there are two type of variable independent and dependent independent activity or characteristic believe to make a difference with respect to some behavior so experiment variable cause treatment dependent variable change a different occur a result of independent variable what is going to change criterion variable effect outcome and post test Ex next is experimental research in experimental research the researcher select participant and divide them into two or more group having similar characteristic and then apply the treatment to the group and measure the effect upon the group so experiment in the experimental research research collect some participant he divides the participant into two or more group and having a similar characteristic and then apply the treatment to the group and measure the effect upon the group is there any cause effect correlation yes if there is any cause a uh, correlation then is the independent variable manipulator yes that is the experimental research so in case of is there any cause effect relation found if answer your answer is yes is the independent variable manipulated you have manipulated the independent variable if your answer is then then it is experimental research if no if no if there then is a causal competitive research on the other hand is there any cause cause effect relationship answer no is there relation or prediction being made so if yes then is a correlation research so that is the main difference between the uh, between the experimental research so try to understand is there a ca cause effect relationship if your answer is yes then is the independent variable manipulated 
is agar if in will manipulate if your answer is yes then it is a experimental search is there a independent variable not manipulated is uh, your answer is no then it's a causal comparative on the other hand is there a cause and effect relationship no is the relation or prediction become made yes then it's a correlation research so that is a different between the different type of research and if there is a no then it is a descriptive research so this concept may clear the different concept about the clear between descriptive research correlation research causal and comparative research and experimental research i repeat it again is there a cause and effect relationship answer is no then is there a relation ship or prediction occur be made if your answer is yes is there any relation then correlation research if there is a no uh, relation then it is a descriptive research on the other hand is the is there a cause cause effect relationship yes is the independent variable manipulated if the answer of this question is yes then it is experimental research is if is there any independent variable manipulated no then it is a uh, causal comparative research no i discuss different type of uh, qualitative methods so first method is the historical search ethnography ethology ethno methodology symbolic interaction ground theory phenomenological case study and action research so these are nine are qualitative research method now i explain them one by one so first historical research historical you understand the word history so study available data to study understand and interpret past event so if you understand and give interpretation about the past event that is the historical research next ethnography ethnography study culture pattern and perspective of participant in their natural setting so in ethnography you study the cultures a uh, culture in perspective of the participant in their natural setting so for example if you would like to find the uh, use of narcotics you will go uh, out of place and you you will uh, involve yourself in the people who are smoking the narcotics and then you find the reality so such kind of research is the ethnography next ethology compare the origin characteristic and culture of different society etho so it has been taken from the words etho so etho mean compare the origin characteristic and difference next ethno methodology study how people make sense of their everyday activity in order to be in socially accepted way symbolic interaction on investigate how people construct meaning and share perspective by interact with others ground theory investigate how inductively derived theory about phenomena is a ground in the data of particle setting so in ground theory you investigate how inductively derived theory about phenomena is grounded in the data of particle setting phenomenological method consider how the experience of particle participant exhibit unique perspective case study examine the characteristic of particle 
eternity. So this word is very important. Eternity or phenomena or person. So eternity, phenomena or person. You will only uh, examine the characteristic and this type of search is called case study. Next action search. <coughs> Actual search based systematically refl reflection based practice aimed at improving professional practice. Generally speaking, qualitative research spend a great deal of time in setting being field work. So this research is going to conduct in the field work. Rely themselves as a main instrument of data collection, subjectivity and intersubjectivity. Analyze data using interpretive lens, apply expressive language and voice in description and explanations, seek depth perspectives, wave of data requiring ongoing interpretations. Judging the term of believability, trustworthiness, coherence, and logic of interpretation. Type of criticism internal. Evaluate the worth or trust. trust trustworthiness of the content of the data, external, assess the authenticity of data source. Data source, as you know, there are three data sources, primary, secondary and tertiary. Limitation of scientific and discipline inquiry, not able to analyze philosophical and moral ethical study. The presence of intervening and co-funding variable and certain in there. So, imperfection in simple instrument and procedure, that are the limitation. Now, we have the mini quiz. Identify the research method. It's search method, so you have to answer. A study our search on the effect of an anxiety on achievement from this and this. So, these are the date. Can you guess? What type of this research? Yes, you are right. It's a historical research. Next, a study of the effect of socio-economic status on a self-concept. Socio-economic. So focus on the word socio-examiner. Try to find the type of uh, qualitative research. So it is a causal competitive research. Next, study compare the achievement of two group, one group taught in anxiety producing environment and one group taught in anxiety reducing environment. So here is a word, it's a very important word, it's a comparative. So you have to focus on the word comparative and then you find what type of search. Yes, you are right. It's an experimental research. Next, study of personal and educational interaction in a group of teachers developing a social study standard for high school curriculum. So what kind of study? Qualitative. A study of compare the achievement of group of students classified high anxiety and group classified low anxiety. What type of research? Causal comparative. A study of teacher attitude toward the union, so you have to find the attitude and research is historical. A study of the effect of large group versus a small group interaction upon achievement is the experimental. A study of sad preparation for three students with a particular emphasis on their anxiety, it, yes, it's a qualitative research. Study of determine relation between scores on anxiety scale and score on the achievement. It's a qualitative search. So, I it's a correlation search. And it's a, a survey of, of teacher how and what degree they believe in anxiety. So, you have to focus what degree. What type of search is? Yes, descriptive. This model has focused on the concept and now I hope that you have understand all type of the research and you have understand the basic concept of the research. If you have understand and please like, if you like this video, 
प्लीज हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर वाचिंग द अपकमिंग वीडियो एंड डिस्क्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो आल्सो गिव द कमेंट फॉर मेकिंग इट मोर इफेक्टिव